Wait, who's gonna deal with the high loss? And then they get the take real too. No one's gonna oh. have a tough time. They have a lot of disengage, but this is a high loss XP. So we saw exactly how Can they do it? Can they close Smash it out them. in this game number two? It is still a United versus Fnatic Onyx. Will Gila Sans be able to Welcome utilize the hero that was made the entire world shake? You see it, and you get scared of it. The Kadita for Sans, that is the Sans signature pick. Immediately the question becomes, who are his targets, right? Ray definitely is one of them, with uh, being a bit more vulnerable. There is the Shadow Kill, but the well-timed Petrify can kind of make short work of him. But with three Purifiers and a set of Dewa, the only real person that can be targeted is Ray. I guess it's, uh, it's Ray, and unless he wants to go from Weza, oh, two purifies, but Sorito has the uh, revitalized. That in itself is an issue. Okay, a little one there secured by Albert. A good sign in early game, but again, the question still remains in disguise for the porcupines. You take a look at the emblem by Indy Home by Telcom Celerachi. Weapon mastery for Watt there, so he wants to absolutely scale towards that lead game. Inspire and tenacity for CW for brawling, for going all in. And with the plays up together for Sans, he needs all the petrifies he can get to really find uh, Ray. Whenever that battle spell is off cooldown, you can expect Ray to just go all in. Try and use that cooldown as a as a window of opportunity. Remember, Sans with the Katira over and over again, even in the playoffs, I believe against Evo's glory. Yeah. The draft is not favorable Whoa, for respect. the Kadita, but somehow he can still perform out of all the CCs from all the purifies and make it work for Fnatic Onik. And by the way, that's exactly why the Valentina is of such a high prior when you're up against an assassin, especially the Nolan. Yep. You displace yourself out of the fracture. Easy peasy. Not to mention, you can steal a good ultimate. You have good outplay potential as well. And that extra early game weave here oh. is always very, very nice. And look at this. They will once again have control over the turtle pit, but they're not pulling the trigger just yet. They're waiting for a chance to get some level fours maybe. If Mueza can get the implosion, that can be a massive moment. But with the IMU, the Primal Wrath is secured. So more DPS coming through for Dewa. Yeah. Mueza is super far from level four. So you gotta take the mid lane. Minions here. The rest once again mm -hmm. doing its job, just taking the turret, the turtle for themselves. Moisa though. Okay, we'll see what the Rapid Ocean used up as well. That's gonna be a lot of damage placed down. A lot of resources are ready for the Shadow Kill just oh. used up Suns. So has a passive. We'll be able to gain back a little bit more HP. Cage with a soul primal right now. Oh, Therese doesn't have oh. the flicker though. Rez gets back to roll up more. P-Boy doesn't have the flicker. And will be horsed down by the horse himself. Albert on the turtle. Red Tree Battle, Retribution not able to win out against the Young Lord, but he is able to get the Quad Shadow and the Fracture dodged away from Kill for Turtle, time and time again. <laughs> Once again, Fnatic Onik getting the neutral objective, but Samuel gets punished for it. This time, though, they were not it. Like they came out on top with 300 gold lead in three minutes. Once again, it is a respectable attempt from Fnatic Onik, though. The fact that they realize that Mueza wasn't really level 4 just yet, immediately sending Keyboy off to chase him down, get the fight started, get a bit of an advantage. They were able to get the turtle, but they lost a couple of members at the same time. Keyboy though, Case does have the Purify, decides to wait on it for the Petrify. Well played to Case. Yeah, displaying the understanding of the crowd control, right? Fnatic Oni tried to layer it, tried to bait out some of the spells, maybe making Case panic. Now without a Purify though, he's gonna be playing a lot safer. That's exactly why Mueza is on standby, man. Bodyguard duty, this Tigreal. Yeah, and Sans can pretty much beat a lot of spells coming in from Keys, though. Like, he has to pull yourself together. So in terms of, like, the trade of Petrify and also Purify, he wants to take that trade every time, any day of the week. It's a great possibility. Looking at the EXP lane, though, I think you can see that Hylas has a lot of pressure right here. And this is even before the Thunderbolt is even in the picture. So Rizzo is going for uh, components here for the Clock of Destiny, potentially later on if he wants to go for that route. Most likely though, it's going to be going straight for tankiness after this, just for the team fight. But look at this, P-Boy, where the Dragon Fracture rough plays. Oh my, oh my. Ray, trying to go for it, good. Stun over the Shadow Kill, not going to be enough to take him down. Ray goes back to the Quad Shadow Case, dealing with the Primal Wrath Force to use it to reason with the of it all. Pops in the Glorious Pathway, but will be chain CC for a bit. Oh! Watt walking over, has the order, what? Get to the kill, now watch Asans, he goes! Oh! Look at Petrify! With the... Oh! oh shit, oh, he knocks up! Oh, 
Watt gets the brilliance in time. There will United win out in the fight and they take the lead back. Played the kiting game perfectly. They were united. They knew the resources are gone after they all in towards Moisa two times right now. Fnatic Onyx, their gameplay is all in. Towards Pure. the front line. Meanwhile, though, Purify out. K trying to run away. Ray in the midst of it all. That's an implosion. Oh. Ray with a quad shadow. CW. Oh, what? Walking forward again. Sorizo trying to save Ray, who is running away. Keyboy throws up that question mark. Emo. That's an Earth Shatter. Throwing the horse up. Sorizo walking back up now onto the turtle. No Hayabusa to play with. This should be free for Albert. And he picks it up. They were almost overstayed right there. Unfortunate for them. Fnatic Onyx will get the turret. But on the top side, Watt definitely is being active. Getting the first turret of the game. And for the most part, Dewa are doing a great job right here. You caught it, Mirko. Not a lot of targets available. And I said, unless they want to go for Moeza, that's like the only guaranteed target they have. They can't deny the big implosion, technically. But when you use all of your your tools onto the roamer, oh. that means Watt and Keys have a lot of plays uh, available to them, as we see Radit Overkill joining us right here. Our boy Radit Overkill. I wonder when he's going to notice. <laughs> he's not making any moves right Look now. So it seems like he's super delayed, yeah. actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, but don't shout worry. out to our good friend he Radit Overkill. Back to the game, Tewa United with a minimal lead to uh, in this mid game. Right now, what's gonna be the option here? Moisa so far. Haven't seen any implosion, not Whoa. even once, but Albert, this might be the debut. Stun dog, the flicker and the implosion. Talk about overkill. Right as we see Radit, we see Tewa overkill with a whole lot of resources. They lose a turret on top of that, but it's two kills. You know, it's Rez and Albert. That was a buy one, get one for special sons. Oh, rough ways escaping, Keyboy. Getting some space for Sans to escape. That looks flashy, but he cleared the wave right there. Yeah. So, turret gone on the top side for Dewa. And on the bottom side, finally, Ray will be able to equalize. As we take a look at the difference here, the biggest difference is still for Ray. Look at Keyboy. Oof, dashes Boy. out of there. He has a Dreadnought armor, so he's more concerned about Ray's damage. More so than Keys and Watt. If they try and go for a pickup onto this Cho, he's getting deleted real quick. Yeah, right now. Sans, at that time, you cleared the wave with the rough wave, so it is another problem, Rashi. With this, with this kind of composition, you don't have the Moskovs. You don't have that bit later, they can pretty much clear the wave easily, dealing out TPS towards the minions. So Fnatic Onyx, another problem right now for them to solve in later part of the game. So Rizzo is going to drag the turtle to get what United's favor. Ooh. Moisa well, is looking for a chance to try and make something happen here. He has a direct beeline, goes for the conceal. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna be massive. CW Ooh. has a purify. He needs to find Albert. He knows it. He is only looking for Albert. That is the wow. only man he can catch. Him and Sans probably. CW spots oh. it out though. Good read from CW. Albert needs to be very careful. Onward down for this. Just to the horse though. So Reza gets a sun down, forcing out the primal rap. Moesa jumps in forward, gets an implosion ray with a oh. victory power as a three-man knockout! And Kays gets the follow-up. A double kill of Sans is forced to just eat the dust. Kays stomping on his head as he's unconscious. Porcupines are absolutely dumb, demolished in this part of the game. Four kills and LCW is forced to retreat. Just give up the second tier tier and even the top lane. They're winning in all fronts. 5k from what it was, 600 gold lead for Tewa United. A catastrophic fight for Fnatic Onyx. Like you said, how are they gonna deal with the horse? Sorisa walked in there, expanding Reza's crowd control, and from there, it's just history. Sans and CW tried their best to try and find an avenue to get to the prior targets, but with the implosion in the way, with the horse just unkillable, they're up against so many challenges. They've came back from a situation like this before, but can they do it again now as they will pull forward, pull away in the gold lead, 5.5k gold? territory that Fnatic Onyx is not really familiar with, at least in the previous seasons. Season 14 is not looking very good, that's why Ray is in the lineup. And also, Rizzo, look at that, he, he doesn't care, like two bushes in front of him, he knows he can take it. Oh, he knows, even with five members on him, he knows he can take it. This is why the high loss... Oh, Moesa! Implosion at the two glorious pathway, Ray with a shadow kill! Keyboy taken out by the horse, Rez gets assassinated! The rough waves deals nothing! The fracture tickles Moesa! 
The rough waves are not very rough, man. It's just... Those are some calm waves, Yeah. Chapman. It's like... Just diving in a pond doesn't really drown them at all. And the targets are not really favorable for Sansa. At that time, it's hard for them to make a play out of this one. Those are waves you usually see in a swimming pool, Rashi. You know when you, you know, swing your hand around? Mm -hmm. You splash your friend? It wasn't, it wasn't a rough wave. It's more like a relaxing current. Man, <laughs> Sans, kind of limited to being a crowd control tool. Moeza stays in the front as well now. He has the Athena and the Dreadnought armor. So now, as he, if he gets jumped on, if he does not immediately get bursted down, it's over. He will be the danger. He will be the one that engages instead. With the oh. Lord available, wave in the bottom side is actually quite equal. But for Dewa, with so much of an advantage, with almost no way for them to really fall into a trap. All they have to do is send Sorizo in, and Fnatic Onyx will, will be forced to respect the pressure. And he's gonna be very happy to be the sacrificial lamb, or sacrificial horse at this point. As long as Moiza makes a play, makes the implosion to certain targets, it's a -OK for Dewa United as they get the Lord without any contest whatsoever. Finally, Ray getting the Lord from Fnatic Onyx after absolutely dominated in game number one. It's a great situation for Dewa to be in, because even if they want to stall, if Fnatic Onyx wants to try and do the waiting game and let the Lord kind of assist them in the damage dealing, with a Lunox late game, with weapon mastery, by the way, if you remember from the emblems, Dewa can shred down that Lord very, very easily. Now Fnatic Onyx will be able to get this turret on the bottom side, but all things considered, they are up against a, a lot of problems right here. And it's the same thing. Right? All they can really do is find a way to get around Sorizo and Moeza. But in order to do so, even in doing so, they're going to be forced to use a bunch of things for distractions, for mobility. It's almost impossible to rely on it. And now with the Lord available, in a base defense scenario, can they do it? It's almost guaranteed to be a front to back. Okay, Keyboy and oh. Sans though. Two waves coming down, Ray. Does he read it out? Keep going, find another way to Dragon, finding it, Ray. Wow. Gonna be caught, but the implosion saves him! Oh. Mueza! With the save, and now the Shadow Kill deals with them in the back. They're all gonna be zoned away. Ray picks up Albert before he gets shut down. They will found two, now Rez very low. No Primal, Roxy W force to use a Purify. Tewa United equalize here. They don't even care about Sans. Looking pretty dangerous for Fnatic Onyx. The skies are invaded by the gods. The domain that they have been dominating over the past two years is in trouble. Dewa United is looking to take that place from them. 